Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So as most of you guys know, I have been running my car on pump E85 for the past two to three years and I've had really good success with it. I normally get it at one pump here in town and I try to only get it from that one pump for the consistency of it. Usually it tests anywhere from 80% to 90% according to what time of year it is. During the winter it gets pretty bad as you guys know E85 is hard to light off when it's cold. So during the winter months the blend changes and the gasoline content is raised so you get more around like an E70 to an E75 percentage of ethanol but it can range all the way down to like E50 I think is what I've read on the pump. So anyway the head gasket failure I had last year I don't think was caused by the octane of my fuel but with the level of performance that I'm trying to get out of the car now I feel that it's probably better that I go to a race grade E85. So at the end of my national we thought we were going to run out of fuel so I had Sarah stop by the VP dealer there and got some C85 and that's what's currently in the fuel cell now and I plan to start the car up on the C85 which smells crazy by the way I've never smelled anything like it. The C85 is very expensive and I, it's, I just it's not really readily available around here so I went today and picked up picked up about 30 gallons of Ignite Red 114 right here behind me. So I picked this Ignite Red 114 up and the dealer thought that there was more in the barrel but there's only about a third here in the barrel so I picked this up plus another two five gallon pails right here. See right here on the pail Ignite Red and the minimum octane rating is 114 and then I've also got the pail right here of the C85 so this was about how much did this? It's like 60 bucks yeah, so five gallons of the C85 was around $60. The Ignite Red isn't the cheapest in the world either, but it's more readily available to me, and it is a little bit cheaper. So I was able to pick the Ignite up for about $7 a gallon today. The purpose of today's video is going to be to test the two fuels and see what the eth ethanol content is. I know that doesn't tell the whole tale, but that is the big difference between the race grade E85 and pump E85 is if you have 85% ethanol from the pump you don't really know what the other 15% is. It could be 87 octane, it could be some other kind of natural gas uh, fuel or whatever mixed in with the ethanol. But with the race grade E85 it's usually it should, it's supposed to be like 85-90% ethanol and then the other 15% are like high grade alkali or whatever. I've read a bunch of different things, but the other 15% is a lot better and you therefore have a higher octane rating. So just for fun today, I'm gonna, I've got a quick fuel fuel tester. I've used this thing a lot to test the fuel here in town. Uh, it's pretty accurate and I, obviously I did this so I knew that I had a consistent uh, blend of ethanol every time I went to the pump. So I'm gonna use this to test both of these fuels it's pretty simple to use. You fill it with water up to this mark right here. Fill the rest with ethanol and it'll tell you your ethanol percentage right here. So I've heard some people say that the, there's some stuff in the C85 that might skew the results of this. Um, I'm interested to see how that turns out. And then the Ignite Red is supposed to be E90. So whenever we test it, it should come out to 90 here on the tester. So we're going to get some samples of this stuff, put it in the tube, and see how it tests. Alright, Sarah's pulling some C85 out of the fuel cell. It's like a goldish color. It looks red in there. Yeah, it looks gold once you pull it out. This stuff smells pretty crazy. I don't know what kind of chemicals they're mixing in these things, but... Cut to the tape. Oh, you can see the yellow dye in the top. Mm hmm. I'm afraid I'm gonna overfill it. I'm gonna put the lid back on. 
Okay. Can you say anything? Up yeah, and it tripped and it lost water when I shook it up. Just like when you just did it, it lost even more just then. No, I can't even. And just like I read, there's something in in this C85 that doesn't allow you to get a reading of ethanol content. I'm going to assume that it's 85% because that's what it's advertised as. The C85 does have MTBE in it, which is uh, supposed to be really tough on fuel injectors if they don't have stainless steel internals. So I don't know if maybe that's the chemical that masks the ethanol, this test anyways of the ethanol percentage. I'm not sure, but it definitely is interesting to put it in this tester and see that what everyone said is true and uh, you can't really get a good reading on it. So I'm gonna pour this out, which hurts my feelings a little bit. Um, we get this poured out and I'm going to test the Ignite Red and see what percentage it comes out to. Red, 114. I think it's worse. E90, which has a completely different smell to it, but it still smells, it has a chemical smell to it is really the only way I know how to describe it. Like normal E85 that I get from the pump here in town smells like, almost like bad Jack Daniels. But these two different racing E85s just have a chemical smell to them. So anyways, that's, it's not red, no. but I don't, I don't think they meant the color to be red. I think that's just the advertisement for it. But anyways, that's the Ignite Red. It's extremely clear. It's supposed to be E90. That's so cool. Oh, it's reacting weird. Cool. 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 I do it. I do it. No. Is there something like wrong with it? That's weird, I've just never seen it do that. Uh, Alright, so here is the Ignite Red 114 in the quick fuel tester. And this stuff's supposed to be E90. And I'm not sure if this is the most accurate test method in the world. It usually works pretty good for the stuff I get at the pump. Like normally you'll see a separation, a big separation around the 85% mark. You'll see it just kind of like forms a line, but you can see the line right there at the very top. So it looks like this stuff is testing it like, like E98 right now, like extremely, extremely high ethanol content. So there may be a different method with the chemicals that they put in, in this stuff to test it. But based off this measuring method, it looks like the Ignite Red is around E98. So just for comparison, I'm going to test some regular pump gas, which is usually around like 15%, 10 to 15% ethanol. And you'll be able to see the clear defined line, kind of like that you see at the top of this right here. But it's, it's definitely more defined whenever you have a higher percentage of gasoline mixed in with the ethanol. So we'll test that real quick just to give you guys a visual of what that looks like. So there is the distinctive line I was telling you guys about. So that's probably about 15% ethanol, which is normal blend and normal pump gas. And then if you just pretty much reverse that, that's how it would look up here on the normal pump E85 I get. You'll usually have that clear defined separation right there up here around like 85 or 90 percent whereas before with the c85 and the ignite red you couldn't really see anything up there you know with the ignite red it did look like there was a little bit of separation at the very top which would mean that it was you know roughly 98 percent so just a uh, interesting little test here and what i would really like to do is i like to put all three of these fuels in a bowl and set them on fire and see what the flame lo looks like just I think that'd be a pretty interesting test. So I think I'm gonna do that next just uh just to see what the difference is. Alright, time for test number two. I'm gonna set these different fuels on fire. Set it over there. Uh right here is fine, right here in the light. But anyway, safety first, so I got the fire extinguisher right here. And we're away from many other fuel sources. 
So Sarah's putting the C85 in there, and I'm gonna set it on fire and see what it looks like. The neighborhood kids are riding their dirt bikes around. There's the C85. It's probably gonna burn for a while. There's actually a lot in there. I'll just let it burn. See how fast it burns. Yeah. So yeah, orange flame, just like regular gasoline. Is that with the C85? Is the not red <clears throat> gonna be? I actually have no idea, to be honest with you. Putting the uh, Ignite Red 114 in here now, and we learned our lesson from the last, the C85. We put a little too much in there, and it was burning for a while, so I'll light this up and see what it looks like. Exactly the same as the C85. It does have a bluish tint to it though. So then when it starts getting down towards the, towards the bottom right there when it burned out, it did have a bluish, bluish hint to it. weird anyways that was the ignite just uh kind of interesting to see the difference the uh, flames and everything which they really honestly just look like gasoline but this is all for for science so put some 87 in here now and obviously you can tell i don't want to touch the bowl it's probably a little warm but it does that is it does smell weird that's the, the fuel there's like a weird it has a weird smell after it's burned it's not really that hot yeah, smell that. No, I don't. Like I can't really describe it. I don't know what that smells like. like. Fire, whenever you're burning like a cardboard box. Yeah, kind of like a chemical burn kind of smell. I don't really know. I've, I've never. It'll be interesting to see how this stuff smells when it's running in the car. Anyways, put some 87 in here, and then whenever we set that on fire, it's gonna leave a bunch of residue. But you guys will see. All right, gonna pour a little bit of this pump 87 octane in here and ruin my wife's little glass bowl here. enough it's probably gonna set fire out here on the side of it too whenever I hit it so that should be interesting we'll move it all right so let's see how this looks wow that definitely lit off a whole lot faster it actually has oh, more energy real bad. yeah you can see the smoke coming off of it so the gasoline is more volatile so that's the the one thing with, with ethanol compared to regular gasoline is ethanol does take 30% more fuel. It has less energy, but you burn more of it, which is part of the reason why you can make more power with it. Also, it has a, a higher cooling effect than gasoline. And it's pretty cool to see that, to see how I didn't, the E85 lit off really slow and then this actually surprised me, which I don't know why. I let it surprise me because I've lit gasoline off plenty, but it did, and it lit off really fast and really violently. But anyways, there you can see all the nasty residue left in the bowl, and you see that on your pistons and everything whenever you take your engine apart that's been run on pump gas. Did that for science's sake. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's kind of interesting to see the differences in those fuels. Um, I'm excited to run the better fuel this year, hopefully push the car a little bit harder. I think that's going to be one part of the formula to make this thing live live at the higher power levels and be more reliable. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all in the next one.